So I did one food web. Then I did another food web. Yeah, describe what the, what's happening in the food web. Okay, well. Oh, you could give the overview. You got overview. You've got two yeah, food webs. Yeah, I have three. Okay. There's one, and then the second one, and then this one, and I labeled it carnivore, herbivore, and the primary producer. Okay. And then I labeled some producers there and some mm. consumers. And then I labeled some decomposers. Nice. And then I just put an example of a food web. <laughs> and then I put the sun, because like that's where all the energy comes from and everything. Mm -hmm. And then these are some of the animals from my food web. So when I wrote it, I just printed out a pictures of it. So the polar bears, the narwhal, the plankton, the fish, and then the Arctic seal. So where would it start here? Does it start um, with the fish or does it start with the plankton? It starts with the plankton. Okay. And then it goes to the fish, mm -hmm. to the polar bear, and the polar bear and the narwhal are with the fish, mm -hmm. and then the seal are with the fish as well. Oh, so these three all eat the fish. Yeah, and this is all like the middle, like the beginning. Nice. So, and was this the page that guided you? Yeah, this is what guided me. This is what told me how many producers and consumers and everything I needed and the different ecosystems I could use. And then Muscat, it says to do a slide, but I did it on the board. Sure. And then I labeled the ecosystem I did and some of the animals that live in that ecosystem. So the polar bear and elk, moose a caribou, arctic hare, lemmings, a snowy owl, grizzly bear, a emonym, moss, arctic willow, and a blue whale. This is an interesting one. What was yeah. that one? It's on here. I think no, I think I spelled it's right. it wrong. Is it yeah. ermine? Yeah, ermine. I spelled it wrong. Okay. So yeah. Do you know what an ermine looks like? I saw it yesterday when I wrote it down, yeah. So do you know what shape is it? Does it have like uh, a tail? Does it have, um, does it swim? Um, it's on the land, but it also does swim. And it does have a tail. Um, ermine also has fur and they use it for, as a substitute for, yeah. for making fur coats. Yeah, and then this just also was like notes to follow with it. So it gave me the definition of the producers, the primary consumers, everything that I needed to know I got from here. And it showed me an example of a food web. Excellent. So yeah. Thank you for sharing your project with us.